Oh, the morning is here and it's beautiful outside. Just kidding. It sucks. Life in me. I was trying to say life in me. I saw the forecast today and it's not supposed to rain, which made me really, really happy, except for the fact that it's gonna be so foggy outside that it's completely soaked. This is what the sky looks like. Just, just like that. The hardware is too small. Look who came to save the day. I think, I mean, if it still doesn't fit, I'm gonna punch a donkey. This is UCLA. We're one of the best universities in the world and have the most applicants of any college in the country. But we're more than just that. It's about tailgating outside of the world. I'm here to get a ticket. I actually want to look at a few spots that look amazing here, but the potential for being kicked out and getting in trouble is pretty high. So we're just gonna go as long as we can until that happens. Man, those trees will come and they'll take your life. spots as well so I think I'm like at the one part of the school without much to skate so I'm gonna leave am I too high <laughs> too high ah oh, drugs no I think I'm on the third floor instead of the second floor yeah I still want to skate that felt very uneventful I definitely need to um, get some more of that this is pretty interesting on Yelp if I hit directions Takes me to my contacts. But before I get another skate session in, I must clear a little bit of work before my anxiety uh, explodes. So I'm gonna get some food and then work at a coffee shop. Thank you so much. Don't forget this video. Of course. Yeah. I about a 30% uh, productivity rate. Anyways, I have a quick Q&A from Rob Seymour asking, saying, wondering, can you have or have you ever done a, a dolphin flip? <laughs> Sorry guys. I've just never really been honest about I don't even like saying the name of the trick. I, I call it, I call it D-flip. See, it all started a long time ago when I first tried it. I, I must have been no older than seven, eight years old. I had been skating for a while now, but uh, I just, I wanted to learn it. I wanted to learn the, the D-flip. And on the first go ever, everything went wrong. Horribly, horribly wrong. I, I popped it fine and I, I, I don't, I don't know what happened. It was just spinning under me, out of control. I had no idea where it was going and then I realized that I had completely up. And it was, and it was horrifying just seeing the board and knowing what was coming next. And as it was coming down, it hit me. It got me right in the D. I 
just never really uh, did the D flip again after that moment. It was quite tragic. <laughs> Stupid. There actually is a legit reason. Dale and I had a conversation about this the other day, but when it comes to certain skateboard tricks that are popular nowadays, they weren't as popular before, my friends. When I was growing up in skateboarding, in my community, there were so many tricks that you shouldn't do according to the older guys. You shouldn't do burial flips, dolphin flips, anything that didn't make a good photo. If you couldn't take a good still shot of a trick, then it wasn't a cool trick. Any double flip trick would get made fun of because if you see a still of a double flip trick, a trick where your feet come close together, it just doesn't look like a good picture. So I never ever practiced any of those tricks because I didn't want people to make fun of me. And now there's a new wave of people who flip or spin their board as much as they possibly can. They do like quadruple 900 spin shove thing and when I was a kid I would have laughed. And now I think it's super cool. It's super impressive to see my friends who can do these tricks because a lot of people now can do it with control. People can do double or triple tray flips with actual control and grace. In closing I never learned dolphin flips and they're incredibly hard for me. I've done one over at the Braille channel, actually, here it is. Dude! Does that count? I mean, with a dolphin flip, I never want to get too excited until I watch the replay. Exactly. By the way, I just got a parking ticket. 50 bucks, or is this area more? 63. I'm not. I'm just getting my face. Hey! for my breakfast, hold that pistol, yeah! And now look how I'm parked. Just even more illegally. This is like I could get an actual ticket for but you know what boy don't play games And I just want to skate this area it looks fun Ooh. It turns so well Oh, I have to go yes, sir. got it got it. okay cool. yeah. I get all the annoying authority that I'm dealing with today But it's still annoying. Why are you standing near my car? Annoying. Straight up coincidence up in this piece. Look at the place that I just stumbled upon. This is the spot I looked at the other night, and I just, it was like the first thing that I could possibly stop at to skate, so. Nice. Oh, it got in the air, baby, I swear. Ah. Skateboards. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so I landed a dolphin flip, like a forward flip, but my camera died, so you just have to take my word for it. Hmm, what a day. Let's go back to the lair. Yo, welcome to my crib. That wooden skateboard actually just felt like a piece of wood. I think that's why it chipped the way it did, but Blue Tile Skate Shop, thank you so much for sending that over. I had a lot of fun with it, even though I pretty much broke it right away. And guess who's closing off with a quote of the night? It's me. That's, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, it's by Chris Jammy. Jamie. Showing a lack of self-control is in the same vein granting authority to others. Perhaps I need someone else to control me. Once again, this is a quote for me as well, because it's hard for me to have self-control when there's situations dealing with any authority telling me what to do or doing something sort of against me, giving me a $63 ticket as I'm walking up and they have a choice not to give me the ticket and still doing it. That's... It's hard not to be a little upset about that. When I was a kid, I would have absolutely given that person hell for that. I used to have the worst temper when it came to tickets, parking tickets especially, especially when I would walk up in the middle of it. And in Columbia, South Carolina, there were only $7. And I would still be like, I can't afford that. My family can't. I, like, I would be so, so passionate and mean and yell and like throw my board and curse. I wasn't, it wasn't very nice. But self-control always has the upper hand. If you can contain yourself and control your emotions and not get insecure and have to overreact because of those insecurities, then you'll be on top, baby, and you can make it to the moon. Acting like that's a song, but I, I've just made it up. Make it to the moon. And thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun to film. It was a really, really good day. Um, 
Yeah, thank you for everything. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video for that extra loving that I appreciate so much and click right here to see a video like this one. Click here to see yesterday's video and click this thing right here to go straight to the subscribing. Love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing it.